If five pounds of bananas cost a dollar fifty, how many pounds can be bought with nine dollars? A proportion is a great way to figure out the answer to a problem like this. Since five pounds is mentioned first, I'm going to go ahead and write it down first as well. Five pounds costs a dollar fifty. Then we say how many pounds can be bought with nine? So how many is the x? I must put that on top because I decided to put the pounds on the top on the left hand side. And our nine dollars will go down here. So let's look at the organization of this proportion. The pounds are on top. The dollars are on the bottom. On the left hand side of the proportion we have the original situation and on the right hand side we have the situation that we are trying to figure out. So everything matches. Now we can solve the proportion by multiplying the 5 times the 9 and setting that equal to 1.5 times x. So simplifying a little bit I want my x to be alone, so I will divide by 1.5 on both sides. That eliminates the 1.5 over there on the right hand side, and I am left with the fact that it will be 30 pounds that I can buy with $9. Let's do another problem. Two and three-fourths pounds of chicken costs eight dollars and twenty-one cents. How much would ten pounds of chicken cost? Once again, I like to deal with the first fact by putting that on the top. So, two and three-fourths pounds is going to go here on the upper left that costs eight dollars and twenty-one cents. Then it says how much would ten pounds of chicken cost? Well the ten pounds must go on top and the only place left for the X is on the bottom. Once more notice the organization of this proportion. The pounds are on top. The dollars are on the bottom. The left hand side is the original situation and the right hand side is the new situation. Multiplying two and three fourths by x and setting that equal to 8.21 times 10, we will be able to solve our proportion. Since this proportion has both fractions and decimals, I'm going to opt to take my two and three-fourths and change it to 2.75. I'll multiply out the right side and end up with 82.1. To solve for the x, I will divide by its coefficient and of course I must do that on both sides. If I use a calculator to divide this out, I discover that it isn't a very pretty answer, but that's the way it is sometimes. I have 29.8545, and so on. But since this is a dollars and cents problem, we must round off to two digits past the decimal point, and we discover that that is the cost of 10 pounds of chicken.